Our new competitor, and wow, that one shot at her because of her low HP pool, 210. So this is not looking good for uh, Juice Go whatsoever. Another confusion being reapplied. Ugh. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it is Wiz, and welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, we have Juice Skull's team, uh, performance issues, and then on bottom, we have uh, Mirai's team, the crap team. So <clears throat> we'll introduce the units, and I'll provide some comments uh, just a bit. So for uh, Juice Skull, we have Dysfunction the Samurai, Impulse the Oracle, Vanity the Chemist, and Plagiarism the Mime. Uh, now for uh, Mirai, we have Earth slash Dude the Monk, Earth slash Bro the Monk, Nature Lover the Geomancer, and a Literal Drew the Geomancer. Now, uh, the one thing I'd point out in this particular matchup, um, well, I will say this. Because she's got the Enkai Armlet, she's not going to be able to get charmed by this thief who has uh, Steel Heart. Having said that, if she um, had Feather Boots instead in this particular match, then the Earth Slashes from these monks would be completely useless against her. Now she would be vulnerable to charm, but uh, um, that's that's the only, that's the thing. It's the trade-off. It's charm immunity versus damage immunity from Earth Slash. In this particular scenario, it would be useful because if these with a two hundred and one HP, which is pretty low, I'm, I don't know the math offhand, but I'm presuming um, with neutral compat twelve PA. I'm presuming they're both going to do over 100 damage Earth Slashes with Martial Arts. I could be wrong on that, but uh, we'll see. And then the other comment, um, just bumping this Faith from 65 to 70 to increase the chances. It's about Poka Poka, which is PA reduction, in addition to using Berserk from Blind Rage provided by this Oracle, and then using uh, Insult from this Chemist for the Mediator, uh, or, you know, the Mediator skill set. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure who's going to prevail here. Keep note of the judo outfit, so he's immune to dead, but not immune to death sentence. Um, but yeah, I feel like if uh, Juskull is able to get, especially if he's able to get um, Berserks on these uh, Geomancers right here, then they'll just be doing minimal damage with melee. I mean, they'll do 81 with a chance of sleep, but uh, she just wants all these, she just wants everybody pissed off from the Berserk status, so she can just Hamido them to death. So, all right, with that being said, we're going to go to... Underground Passage in Goland, map number 39. Due to the nature of it, the songs will be a little bit more useful here. Um, or I should say the dances, the polka polkas. And if we were able to get uh, like four applications off, you know, one application from the uh, from the Oracle, you know, one from the mine, that's two applications. Uh, so if we can get like four applications, I think it'll be worthwhile. Um, Looks like, I don't know if that's targeted on the Geomancers or if that's targeted on him. It's a little bit unfortunate. We don't know what the panel, the panels look like. But uh, yeah, uh, four Brave. All right, now she's a 54% chance of Hamido. Very nice. Now there is a lot of range damage with this Geomancer, so they could just do like simple pokes or whatever. Let's see. Oh, he targeted the panel, so everybody moved out of it. All right, hitting that one monk is pretty useful. So two points of PA lost on that one monk. Let's see how much the Earth Slash, Earth Slash does. 108, and now let's see how much it does with the second shot. Oh, he's out of range. Going for another haste. Okay. Um, yeah, I um, once the samurai it, once he gets in the range, he should be able. To, he probably will be going for a Kiyomori. Um, 148 damage he's lost, and he sleeps. No, fortunately not. Um, Oh, and she walked into the haste. Very nice. Oh, that's too bad. Because that samurai is standing on that panel. Oh, she's... I suppose she's too far away. I was going to say this. Uh, mine was going to maybe be able to get like a crystal heal. Does not happen this time. Uh, charm? No, or slash. For a minimal amount. Oh, wait. So 108. All right, so... They were able to two-shot her. So... Let's see what happens here. Is she going to die? I don't think she will. Very close. Yeah, very close to it. Um, she should now. 25? Oh, a sleep rock. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, probably a Kiyomori here. Am I right? Yep. Yeah, she's at low HP, though. That's the problem. Uh, we have four protects, four shells. Uh, low, Kind of low HP, though. No sleep rocks, which is nice. MP Switch is eating all that damage away. Um, the hastes... 
Yeah, so she's down now, but she's probably just gonna be. Um, wait, hold on. If uh, I was gonna say, if there, if we get like a Murasame, it would work out, but it does not happen this time. Speed saver and the ice, they're all pocketed for uh, elemental. Uh, she isn't critical. Yeah, look at that earth slash right there. Oh man, especially with the speed save and the haste procs. So that's a 15 speed ninja, I believe. Yeah, 15 speed and um, haste, not bad. So four for four units are haste on Mirace team. And uh, just with all these additional turns, they're just um, overwhelming everybody. So when you did in critical and then the other one put the sleep, wisely, they're not breaking the sleep proc of that samurai. But uh, yeah, you can see that this chemist has, work, has his work cut off for him and if everybody haste, they're just going to outpace um, the revival from the uh, Juice Skull. So Miri's got this one pretty much wrapped up, but I think a lot of it is also because the mime moved too far forward. 56%. Uh, on a defense up unit like that, I can get behind that choice. Um, let's see what happens here. Uh, there's probably going to be some friendly fire here, but that shouldn't matter too much. There's also an MP switch. And um, protect shell wore off, so... Yeah, death sentence. There's just too much work cut out for a juice score right now. Everybody else is able to keep up because of... Uh, um, yeah, he's down to 18 HP. It's just everybody having haste. Getting three to four hastes. Um, they're just uh, getting out ran, simply put. That's what it's kind of boiled down to. I think, honestly, it's just the mine was just too far forward and out of position. Um, yeah, her being able to jump up that little slope and then leaving everybody behind, in my opinion, put her in a perilous position. So, yeah, another elemental. And we got a double sleep. <laughs> wow, that's something. Okay. Um, yeah, punch should kill him off. Yep, yep. All right, not too bad. Um, so they're going to ignore him because of the sleep rock. We might see some revives, but it'll probably take some time. We're just going to wait for them to, to wake up. It depends on how many turns it is. Because if that oracle goes down, it's, it's safe to say that it'll be over. Yep. They're just ignoring because of the haste and the sleep. Yeah. So who's the one left alive? The oracle and it misses. Yep. So now it's just 4v1. He's taken out. Yep. There we go. All right, so we're going to go to, let's go to a small map this time. Let's go to, hmm, let's go to the south wall of Bethel Garrison, 66. Okay. 66. Oh, take this little status bar off the top. There we go. You may not be able to see it on the emulator aspect of it. Let me actually just look at this really quickly. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, I took it off. I wasn't too sure. So they are split up this time. So the grouping for like haste is not going to be as easy. Um, we could see it though. Wow. <clears throat> perfect perfect positioning to get sniped like that. Lose half her life bar. Um, but uh, yeah. Per Kiyomori. I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep her alive. Now if we get see like an X potion heal from that chemist. The chemist should be able to move forward. And instead he chooses not to. He could have ran towards her and threw an X potion. Did not come in the play this time, though, unfortunately. Um, don't X? Nope, Don't X does not trigger this time. Uh, don't act number two? Hell Ivy. So he's lost about half his life, give or take. Um, one uh, one Poka Poka, all right. On the same unit, too, not too bad. Um... Thankfully, that missed for that samurai right there because I'm being bulky with defense up and protect. One way to offset that. Uh, poke for good damage. Speed save. All right. Hopefully, this chemist just goes for like an X potion on himself or something. Mursame. I agree with that because they're all healed up now. Yeah, good heal. All right. Um, Mimic there. Berserk. That is huge because now she's just going to be going for uh, sleep sword procs or sleep swords. Um... But, uh, yeah, so that was a nice heal from that uh, Samurai. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did not expect her to do 171. It must be good or best compat. Because 9 nine weapon power times 9 PA is uh, 81. Not as much high of damage as I thought it was going to be. He should be dead here. 
Oh, nope. Okay. Oh! Oh, the backfire! It actually went around the freaking uh, Geomancer and hit him. That sucks. I did not expect that to happen. Ah. Oh. It's so weird how that, like, that targeting works. Like, it sucks you can't see the trajectory with who it's going to hit because had that Goku rod hit the Geomancer instead, the chemist would be alive. That sucks. All right, well, one monk is out of position. I believe that's the monk that's lost two points of speed, uh, PA. Am I correct? Let's see, really quick. Yep, so he's at 10 PA now versus the 12. All right. No sleep rock, not bad. Okay. I suppose the, the Poka Pokas are pretty useful for these uh, Geomancers as well because of the melee damage, but most of the time they're going to be going for Elemental if, they, if they're able to. Don't act. Nope, don't act does not trigger this time. Uh, probably a Protect, right? Yep. And the mind being able to mimic that, Protect Shell, very nice. Good sustainability. Um, the question is, is that mime? Well, the, the thing is, this uh, or this geomancer does have um, does have item through item, so she could possibly go for uh, she could go for an item through item. Ooh, nice, nice poke. There we go. Awesome. So the mimicry is coming into play. We're probably gonna see item through item here. Am I right? Yep. Now the question is, if he's gonna be able to get a turn off or not. That's the hard thing. Oh wait, wait. Okay, that doesn't hit. Not too bad. Um, drought? Yep. Alright, so it doesn't hit her, but it shouldn't matter too much. Um, the mime is right there just to take him down with a simple punch. Yep. Um, Oracle should be able to get an attorney just a bit and go for another poke. Yep, take him out. So now it is 3v1. Very interesting. And she's probably going to be mostly using Revival the whole time. And it shouldn't matter because... Um, that Geomancer is just going to go down there and harass the shit out of them. Or, uh, the Oracle, rather. Now, this Geomancer does have haste, so she could get some double turns in, potentially. Um, MP Switch, good damage. Um, Protect Shell War Off, but again, she's going to probably prioritize healing. Ah, uh, Hamido doesn't trigger there. Trigger there, that's a bit too bad. Um, uh, he's not ranged for rev revival just yet, but they are kind of creeping forward. Unless we get, like, a lucky Sleep Rock or something. Um, we should see a double draw right here. Yep. And that should hit the Geomancer and the... Yep, it hits both of them. Not bad damage. 126, 96. The MP switch, yeah. So she's down to uh, just trying to revive everybody. Now, remember that this mime does have 10 speed, so she will be able to keep up. Um, all right, well, as long as this mime is able to just put down that monk, that's what matters the most. Um... Let's see what happens here. Berserk, 23%. Please hit. I want to see it hit. Oh, it's too bad. All right, well, she's out of MP now. Gets her turn off. LAV. Yeah, so the revive isn't doing enough, but I'm not really too concerned about that because um, if, if she goes for damage on that Oracle, then that means she's not going for revival. Nice crystal grab. Pretty much a necessity there. She's moving away, but I don't think she's going to be able to move far enough away. Right? Yeah. I think it just comes down to um, basically this mime just picking off this Geomancer. Um, yeah, if he could just pick her off and go for punches. Get her down to less than half HP. Um, confusion's not going to matter. Yep, Hell IV to take her out. But the um, if this MP switch doesn't go off, that uh, mime will kill her. Um with the MP switch move MP up combo. And thankfully that revive did not backfire. 96, there we go. So Alright, with that being said, we'll be going to a tiebreaker then between Juskull and Mire. I'm uh a little curious to see what happens in this tiebreaker. Let's go to um hmm. Let's go to the Hmm. Let's go to Bervinia Volcano. I think that was map 75, right? 75. I can take a look at that afterwards, but... Alright, with this map then, um, we're going to be seeing a lot of Petrifies from these Geomancers um, for the terrain. Unless they, like, float over water or something, or float over the... float on top of the lava panels with any ground, I believe it is. Or if they float, they'd be able to cast a lava... I think Lava Ball, which has a chance for instant death. Um, Mimic Dervon? Does put him to sleep very nice, but do you remember that the Geomancers are right there to use Remedy on him. 
And instead, they decide to wake him up. That actually does work out, luckily, because um, 50 damage. 50 damage isn't too high. And in addition to the fact that um, now he gets a permanent speed boost for the rest of the round. Wow, that missed everybody all both times. So that's too bad. Um, let's see. Local Quake. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to get petrifies. All right, cool. Guard, not bad. Um, that's 72 damage is only because of the draw. More confusions? Okay, that's Earth Elemental, I guess. All right. So two confusions and some dancing. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing a confused dance to the, to the Oracle right there. That's the way of showing off. <laughs> nice to see you, Rezig. Um, we're here in a tiebreaker right at the moment. Mirai versus uh, our new competitor. And wow, that one shot at her because of her low HP pool, 210. So this is not looking good for uh, Juice Go whatsoever. Another confusion being reapplied. Oh, this is brutal. And he's in critical. He's going to get just put down very quickly. Um, Heaven's Cloud. All right, worked out a little bit lucky right there. Not bad. Uh, simple swipe. Yeah, even with defense up, the just the yeah, just oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, this is looking pretty bleak for uh, this is looking pretty bleak for uh, Jusco. I don't think he's got this one wrapped up. The confusions, I think, were just way too damning, and the charm too. Yeah, just a lot of status coming into play now. Um, yeah, so it's basically five on one, even with the confusion. Um, I think uh, getting the three man haste in the very beginning was instrumental, in my opinion. Um, just because it just means so much uh, momentum going in your favor. Yeah, now it's just down to one confused mime, and it's a permanent uh, 4v1. So we know what the outcome is going to be. Let's speed this bad boy up. We're just waiting very patiently. They will attack, it just it doesn't happen all the time. Death sentence, yep. So it's just a ticking time bomb situation. Okay. Charm wore off, but that's it. The final turn will come just a bit. So congratulations, Mirai. You take this uh, best of three. Yeah, unfortunately, um, in Juice School, I think it was just the map in that particular scenario. Um, you weren't able to get any Berserks off. She was able to get Confusions instead. Got a three-man haste. Just to allow her to get double turns and... Uh, kind of overrun you, unfortunately. Even though they don't do tremendous amounts of damage, it's, just, it's the status. The haste for her and then the local quakes. So, all right. With that being said, I'll see you guys for our tiebreaker then. Oh, sorry. Not tiebreaker. Apologies. For our next match, whenever that may be.